When using a regular miter gauge for cross cutting, you don't have any supporting materials to the right side of the miter gauge to rest your hands on. This way, you keep your hands off the blade line and the blade will be always visible during the cutting operation. In addition to that, you can also use the blade guard to protect your hands from touching the saw blade during the cutting operation. The story is different when using a crosscut sled. The main problem with the crosscut sled is that it has a blind spot where for a fraction of a second you may lose sight of the saw blade. This instance of time is long enough to cause a disaster. The blind spot on the crosscut sled can happen when the saw blade is passing through the fence to complete the required cutting action and it is exactly when it's too late to subdue as part of the saw will be already protruding the front fence also the crosscut sled will allow you to rest both hands on the front fence and as your attention will be already drawn to the cutting piece you might not notice that your hands are within the danger zone and if you do it might be too late to avoid similar situations you must create a forbidden area to prevent unintentional access to your fingers and to do so you have to build a protection block so let's build one the quick gripper is indispensable when it comes to small and tight cuts like this one I pre-drilled two holes on the protection blocks to use them as a guide to determine the location of the holes on the front fence to get a perfect match for the threaded inserts. I drilled a shallow chamfer around each hole to allow for the threaded inserts to be installed flush with the fence surface. This way I can ensure a full contact between the protection blocks and the fence for a tight joint. I will be using a transparent polycarbonate board to cover the top of the protection blocks to be able to visualize the saw blade when it is passing through the front fence. This way I can better decide when to stop pushing the crosscut slit forward when the cutting is over as wearing ear protection can disguise the sound of the cutting action and sometimes can be misleading. This is so far the best way to protect your hands from confronting a 4200 rounds per minute blade, which won't be a fair confrontation. Nevertheless, your common sense will always be the best safety tool that you will ever have, minding what you are doing and drawing how the cut will be fulfilled in your head before attempting to make it will help you decide if it is safe to proceed with or not. Always remember, don't attempt to make a cut which you are not comfortable with and try finding another way to do it. This is a common example that you will encounter when doing kitchen cabinets. And most of the time, you will use a jigsaw to make this cut as it won't be safe to do it using the miter gauge. The problem with the jigsaw is that it won't give you a clean or a square cut compared with what the table saw can offer you. But to be able to make this cut on the table saw safely, you will need a crosscut sled. Another useful use for the crosscut sled is when you combine it with a stopping block, which will allow you to cut the exact same length every time.
You can also make a dead on accurate miter cuts on this simple cross cut slit by using a 45 degrees triangle. This will help you in making picture frames if you don't have a miter saw or an aftermarket high quality miter gauge. It will be useful but not necessary to extend the front fence to the left and right as doing so will enable you to attach an extra piece of plywood when needed to extend the stopping block capacity for longer workpiece or to use it for clamping support. Also it will help you when storing the sled if you choose to mount it to the wall for better space management. A good thing to know is that the cross cut sled is a zero clearance sled by nature as its base sides are separated from each other by the exact width of the saw curve only. This will ensure less tear out and cleaner cuts. If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel as more videos are coming soon. Thank you for watching and stay safe.